Alright, what's going on guys? I'm back. Seth, of course. The only person who oops, the only person who records on the channel. Hold on, let me adjust my chair. Alright, and we're playing a game today called Deep Sleep. And I decided to play another horror game because um the last one kind of sucked. And this one's actually won first place award in some competition if you would have saw the intro, but it even had the thing on there. Made by like casual gameplay. Link of course will be in the description as it always is. I'm gonna start my timer real quick here. Uh, record. Start. Okay. Alright, so we're just gonna start a new game. This says continue because I was adjusting stuff. Um, unfortunately, the first one, I checked up the second one first. And it had full screen, but this one unfortunately doesn't have full screen. So, we're just gonna go with this. And this is a point-and-click adventure game. So, you look into the abyss, the abyss looks into you by whatever his name is. Text is kind of hard to read in this game, but, you know, you get the idea. Alright, so I think... Oh, oops. This was also made by a guy named Script Welder, who made another game called Don't Escape, which I'll probably be playing as well. Just woken up. Okay, so I think I have a key for this chest here. Yeah. So I have this, and then... Yeah, that happens. And it's... It rings your ears pretty bad. I'm sorry for those of you who watched this. Who just had your ears absolutely destroyed. Because of that... Down there, idiot. Alright. So this note gets you somehow. At this point, you should know all this is not real. I hope the inner awakening went well and you have a full lucid control over the dream. Sincerely yourself. Well, this guy's got to be pretty, pretty lonely writing pen pal letters to himself. So, yeah. Puddle of water. And it won't budge, I think. It never does budge, ever. Mm, there's a cloth there. Um, let's see if I can use this cloth to wipe. I don't know why I want to wipe this puddle of water, but. Oh, look, I actually can. A soaking wet piece of old cloth. Well, that's not very nice to tell the. No, I'm kidding. Um, that was about to be a bad joke. Uh, I'm kind of scared to go in here. As you guys probably know from the last one, I don't handle horror games. Whoa. Hello. Yeah. What? I don't want to wake up. I'm still tired. Shut up. I don't want to. It has no batteries. Of course it doesn't. It's gonna be Outlast all over again. Find fucking batteries everywhere. Batteries. Good God. Seems really bad from there. What? It smells. Oh, it smells really bad. I thought as it seems. Where do I find batteries for this um this year thing? Maybe I. No, I'm dumb. Why would I do that? I don't know. Big old cracks in the wall. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Uh. Whoa. Um. Okay. That is weird. Uh. Sorry if you guys can't hear the ambience, but it's like... Now you can hear it, okay. <coughs> oh. Oh. Oh god. It's too dark to see anything. Well, if I had a flashlight... Which I do have, but... Doesn't have any batteries. Oops. Uh, 
go this way. No, wrong way. Go, no, not downstairs. Upstairs. And then we go upstairs again. And we go here. Yeah. And we go here. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. I'm a rebel. The rebels. Here? Nope. Oh god, I don't like this at all. Oh. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. No like it. No like it. No like it. No like it. Well, I'm confused. Uh, my brain is probably just too stupid. No, put it back on the thingy. Put the thingy back on the thingy. Oh. That scared me. I'm not going to lie. Not with this inferno inside. Well, I think that that's a good idea. Because someone just burnt alive in there. Clearly. Whoa. My lucky piece of coal. I love how the handprints are just gone. That makes sense. Okay. Looks pretty hot in there. That actually legitimately scared me, that did. Hold on, let me just... Eh, I want to turn this up. <laughs> because I don't like it at all. Alright. I think that's actually better as well. I don't know if anyone wants to tell me in the comments if this better or not because I don't know how it is for you guys. Uh, I wonder if something happened upstairs now. I wonder if it's like it's event based where like you go to one place and something else happens caused gets triggered by that event. So like events are triggered by events, so it's like inception. Shut up. I keep checking that drawer because I don't know what's in there and I want to find out what's in there. I'm just clicking everything at this point. I don't care. Is this open? No, nope, still cracks in the wall. Okay. Daytime yet? Nope, not daytime yet. Nothing here. Nobody shows up. Well, you expected somebody to show up? Because I didn't. I'm gonna be blind. There's just gonna be like batteries laying around somewhere. I'm not quite sure what to do, guys. Um, not at all sure what to do. Maybe I do something with this. Don't. I need the lever of some sort. Okay, well now we have something else to look out for. Gotta have goals, right? Not with that infernal inside. That's what I thought, buddy. Jeez. Always had a rain on my parade, haven't you? Haven't you? Oh god. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. Nothing's really happening, though. I mean, it's mostly just 
ambience, really. Can I look outside? No, don't grab that. I don't know what time am I doing. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop the video here soon whenever that thing dings. Because it'll be about my 10 minute mark. And that's my cue to stop. Alright. Well, I'm going to stop the video here then. Like and... Well, like, I guess, if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe for more of these videos, at least. Not really entertaining. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, I will see how many people watch it later. 